Hello again, everyone. Edwin Murr back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about having a Scorpio uh, Sun and Cancer Moon in a natal chart. Now, I'm going to elaborate and expound on that. What I'm talking about is having that Sun and Moon combination in the natal chart, having a Scorpio Sun and Cancer Moon in the chart, in your natal chart. Now, anyway, um, first off, okay, the basic character which is the sun, and in this case, the sun being in Scorpio, can be very resourceful, uh, resilient, uh, willful, intense, uh, empowering, and probing. And the unconscious side, which is the moon, in this case, the moon being in Cancer, um, can be a nurturing, sympathetic, protective, tenacious, dedicated, devoted, and sensitive. Um, the person may bring uh, the Scorpio intensity you know, into something you know, uh, Cancerian related. You know, it could be doing something as a home caregiver, you know, real estate, plumbing, laundry, home renovation. Could be a family business as some examples. And the sun in astrology represents our basic wants. And Scorpio sun you know, wants power, control, to transform uh, Go beyond the surface, subterfuge, superficiality. Um, and the Cancer Moon needs, uh, the Moon is about our emotional needs, and the Cancer Moon needs um, nostalgia, history, family, safety, security, um, just home related matters in general. Um, the Sun in astrology represents our uh, true self, it's our basic fundamental character. And you know, with the Sun in Scorpio, the basic character can be incisive, um, passionate, obsessive, and relentless. And the inner self is the Moon. And with the Moon being in Cancer, you know, the inner self can be caring, emotional, sensitive, um, introverted, and uh, timid. And um, you know, the Sun in astrology you know, uh, reflects our driving motivation. And the person um, may be driven and motivated, which is the sun, to make you know, major changes, transformation um, within that Scorpio, of course. And, um, and the person may do so. It could be with the home, you know, such as home, again, home remodeling, renovation. It might be done, you know, the transformation, major change, you know, may be um, you know, done with a lot of dedication, devotion. Uh, tenacity and care, which is cancer, zodiac sign cancer. And um, I mean, this is compatible by sign, but it could be more harmonious if there is a, um, you know, this is a trine aspect. You know, let's say, for example, I mean, trine aspect is 120 degrees in astrology, and I use a uh, 10 degree orb if at least uh, one personal planet is involved. In this case, you have two personal planets that are involved, uh, the sun and the moon. So let's say if the Scorpio sun is at 16 degrees and the Cancer moon is at 14 degrees, that would form a trine aspect. And it would be really, you know, having, you know, the Scorpio sun, you know, you know it's about our basic wants. The sun is about the basic wants. Scorpio sun wants to give support. And the Cancer um, moon, you know, needs to express care sympathy they need to nurture so it would be a very good you know combination um, for that it'd be somebody that could be very good at doing things and you know matters of support you know for their home their family and um this is also um you know looking at this as well um you know, the sun astrology represents the biological father so the person with the scorpio sun the biological father may actually be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or embody those characteristics. And having the Cancer Moon, um, the Moon represents the mother in astrology. So with the Cancer Moon, the person's mother may be a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, or embody those traits. And it's also about the perception of these people. So somebody with the Scorpio Sun, you know, may perceive the biological father as somebody that's very passionate, resourceful, resilient, intense, empowering, transforming, but at the same time may see 
that same person is somebody that's overly obsessive, fixated, vengeful, vindictive, and, and really, um, and also just um, maybe overly, you know, emotionally intense. And um, with the Cancer Moon, uh, the person may perceive the mother as somebody that's sympathetic, dedicated, devoted, caring, tenacious, but may also see the mother is somebody that's overly clingy, moody, temperamental, um, overly emotional, sense, overly sensitive to criticism and ridicule as some examples. And you know, this of course could be a um, very emotional combination because you have the sun and the moon um, both in water signs. Um, you have um, you know, the Scorpio sun, you know, the basic fundamental character can be very you know, emotionally intense, sometimes can go to extreme behavior. You have you know, the Cancer moon, you know, which is, you know, it can be, I mean, moon is in its dignity in Cancer, but at the same time, it's still, you know, very sensitive you know, position for the moon. I would say Pisces, Cancer are, are the two more sensitive placements for the moon. Scorpio, it might be close, but see Scorpio moon, they have more power and control over their emotions, even though Scorpio moon, um, their emotions can be very uh, intense and convoluted. Um, it can really be really overpowering when it when they actually own uh, those emotions are unleashed. But the thing is, you know, with this combination, again, it's one that could be very positive for support. It can be that one, you know, considering Scorpio's sun, you know, Scorpio is about transformation. And then the um, you know, Cancer moon, you know, is the home, you know, I mean, Cancer is associated with the home and family. This is a person that may have a very good ability to empower, you know, transform their, you know, people in their family, um, you know, in, in a positive way, of course, and being able also for doing transforming you know, the home, I mean, cancer, you know, is connect. the zodiac sign cancer is connected with the home. So the cancer moon by itself, you know, could indicate, you know, maybe certain, maybe being proficient in doing things, you know, some kind of business associated with the home. But you have the Scorpio sun, and Scorpio is about transformation. That might give an added ability. Scorpio sun being able to transform and cancer, the zodiac sign cancer being connected. Um, with the home, and this is a person too um, that might be very uh, Scorpio is investigative, and you know, being Cancer, being with connected with ancestry, this could be a person that may be enamored with going into you know their family history entry and being able to really investigate you know deeply into those matters. Now, um, the sign of astrology you know is about our actions. And having the sun in Scorpio, a person may act you know, with a lot of passion, desire, a lot of emotional intensity. It can also be acting in ways to, um, you know, deal with, um, you know, crisis, um, emergencies. And, you know, the Cancer moon, you know, is about, the moon is about our uh, reactions and responses. So, you know, the Cancer moon, you know, the person may react to things in, in, in a manner in order to care. Sometimes it might even be rescuing. I would say Cancer and Pisces are the two biggest rescuers of the Zodiac. Um, it can be acting in a way where you know, reacting in a way to show sympathy again, to care, to nurture, to, um, to be protective um, as some examples. So this is a combination of having, you know, again, the sun and the moon both being in war signs can be very, you know, obviously strong emotional energy, but at the same time being very um, sensitive as well. Now, you know, the ascendant, you know, as an example, you, know, you could look, look in the chart for you know, contra indicators and modifying influences. Let's say if the person has, you know, the Scorpio sun and a Cancer moon, but they have their ascendant in Capricorn, or let's say Saturn conjuncts the ascendant. If this person may come across as a little bit, you know, more undemonstrative and not as emotional or sensitive as the, um, you know, the typical Scorpio Sun Cancer Moon combination. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.